Hello everybody, uh, this is a motor uh, setup that I've been working a little bit on. Uh, it is actually two Bedini motors in, made into one. This is a normal uh, with an NPN transistor and uh, that is returning its energy up here. But here I got a PNP version of the same thing returning its energy down here. So if the, this one is active and not this one, this battery will get charged. And when I turn this on as well, uh, neither will get charged, but I will get high RPM. And when I turn this one off, this one will get charged. So you can do that on the fly. Uh, so this is the schema, uh, how I wired it, more or less. I think this is uh, how I've done it. I'm not quite sure, but I think more or less. And uh, here is the motor. Uh, it's a 12 coiler. Every second is an NPN and every second is a PNP. They all got their own uh, trigger winding. So I have to trim each, uh, which is uh, tiresome. And each also has got a switch, so I can turn them on and off. These batteries are all in uh, parallel. Uh, and this is the voltage and uh, they are driving uh, the PNP version here I got uh, I didn't have more batteries but here I got one of these it's uh, driving the NPN version and this is the draw on the NPN version so let's see how it works uh, let's uh, start it by doing like this now it's only running on this coil, and you can see this battery pack is uh, charging quite nicely, like this, and um, where are we, it's uh, full scale is, uh, uh, what is it, uh, milliamp. No, it's voltage over a 1 ohm resistor. Yeah, that's it. It's 1.5 amperes full, uh, on the full scale. So let's uh, turn the other uh, coils on. Every second coil will just get much higher speed, a little bit more draw and uh, more uh, charging as well. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can do it properly. this now to redo this one and uh, now let's turn these on as a driving battery as well so we will only drive this one at the higher speed. Now let's check the speed first. 3800 RPM or so. So let's turn these on. Okay, here we go. Now this one is, oh, will of course drop. Okay. Now let's see what we have here. 4,400 or so. Now, you can tune this, make it go better as well. But it takes a while to do, and uh, it's not very fun. You can do it. It's quite easy to see which one has to be adjusted or not, but uh, for this purpose I will just keep in high speed to see what it is doing. Now oh, it's quite good. 
and now we are oh, 5,000 RPM. That's fun. Um, so I get speed, but definitely not over unity, which was the goal anyway. Uh, I just wanted to show you this before I uh, reconfigure the, the, elec the electric parts to make it uh, efficient as the first goal. This is just for speed. So let's turn every second off so this one gets charged. Okay. Oh, it won't do it. You can't do it. Uh, or maybe. Sometimes it, it will just stop because it's rather fragile when you uh, trim it. Um, the ratio between trigger and driver winding is uh, 1 to 2. So it's it's not as stable. I think that's because of it. I'm not sure. And uh, let's see. And now let's turn. Well, let's do yeah. Let's turn this off as well. Just have one call going. There you have it. Just one call. Well, thanks for watching.